So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You are joining me in the middle of a series that I've started called Love Poems from God, and we're listening to 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. In prior episodes, I've shared the poems of Rabia, St. Francis of Assisi, Rumi, and currently we are talking about the poetry of Meister Eckert. Now, I, before I begin each of the segments, I always do a little biography, um, just in case this is a poet that is new to you. So make sure and go back into the archives in order to hear more about this amazing um, gift to the world in this person. So let's start with this poetry. The first one is called, The Wind Will Show Its Kindness. A man born blind can easily deny the magnificence of a vast landscape. He can easily deny all the wonders that he cannot touch, smell, taste, or hear. But one day the wind will show its kindness and remove the tiny patches that cover your eyes. And you will see God more clearly than you have ever seen yourself. A flame burned well. A flame burned well and kept its country warm. There weren't many inhabitants in that world. A spider lived in a cozy web in the corner of the window. She felt the warmth from the candle on the sill and slept better at night. And they visited sometimes, three moths, and pressed against the pane that I look out from onto God. Why so many souls? When were you last really happy? Let that experience ferment. Bring it to mind once in a while. Surely in the genesis of that past moment, when you danced, you would not have wanted a constable to have knocked on your door or have said you just entered restricted ground. Why are there so many stars and souls with no end in sight for them? Because nothing can interrupt God when he is having fun creating. This last one is called Jerusalem. A hand in my soul can reach out and touch Jerusalem as my other hand tastes the beauty of the Rhine. And my bare feet can stand upon the holy ashes of rain, each drop a fallen phoenix that sang out from the fire of union with clay. The hills, the valleys, the beasts, the vineyards, the sacred meadows on the earth and on our body, they shall pass and ascend as all form does tiring of the space within the cage. For all crowds the soul but the infinite. Ascenders to God we are. 
Look, though, how we enrich this planet with our melting organic sh shadows. Wondrous shadows all are all but he. What a womb God has. What wild love he must have made to himself for days and days without stopping. To have given birth to all you can imagine and to all you cannot conceive. Draw a circle around the frontiers of space. Barely can God fit a toe in there. All language has taken an oath to, to fail to describe him. Any attempt to do so is the height of arrogance and will always declare some kind of war. The inner ones that undermine our strength and the outer conflicts that maim red. I cried out one night in the madness of separation from love, in the madness of doing, of trying to add to the perfect, for perfect is all. The awakened heart is like a luminous sphere, just giving without thought to any who may come close or gaze at it. The soul becomes blessedly lost to all but its own holy being. When we cannot be who we are, our divine senses become mute. Mute and sick from the insanity of judging what he made immaculate. Who must God have made love to in order to have given birth to all this sound? To this sacred spectrum of color, sense, and music from the wind's body and existence, existence's plea for mercy. That plea for the real mercy, unbearable joy. Once we had four legs and tails so useful to balance our raid into heaven, and I found them again. I am a swimming galaxy tonight. Angels prowl around me, hoping I will toss them a fresh piece of light. Here, dears, here, my sack is full. The universe rents space for me and oceans are drawn from my well. How can that be? For I can touch Jerusalem while my other hand tastes the beauty of the Rhine. Yes, I can kiss Jerusalem while my mouth tastes the wonders of the Rhine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to like and subscribe in whatever podcast venue you use and share this with a friend or a family member or many friends who you think would really benefit from it.